we have another example of lack of respect from our political class as a Labour Council cabinet member in Wales was brought into a select committee to be scrutinised and she decided to start knitting in the middle of a session. <laughs> this is just funny. It makes absolutely no sense. Why would you do this? Okay, let's give you the overview of what's going on. And we're going to show you the video. We actually have a video of this uh, <laughs> select committee session where a Labour cabinet member in Wales uh, who was being scrutinised by a select committee uh, because she proposed uh, 11 million pounds worth of cuts to public services. 11 million pounds worth of cuts, by the way. That's a lot. And that session is very important. They are there, members of the committee are there to scrutinize, to find out more details. And she's there to be defending her position. She has to be nervous. She has to, if she cares about uh, public services, if she cares about her own constituents and voters and the taxpayer, then she would focus. No, 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 no. I'm going to I'm gonna show you this video. Uh, and then you can judge, just judge it for yourself. Oh yeah, and then she's going to be on this side of the screen, top left with a blue top. Watch this. Um, <laughs> uh, Councillor Sandals and I were at um, the EAS meeting earlier this week, and um, I note in the, in the, uh, in, in the, uh, the budget that we are looking to reduce our contribution by 10%. Um, I'm aware that Kefili have already notified the VAS of a reduction of 10%, but there doesn't... What is going on? <laughs> is she actually paying attention? Um, and even when she, it was her turn to talk, to defend her position, she, had, she she didn't really care. She had no energy. She was like, uh, she's like talking to a 12-year-old girl in school. I do believe that Kefili and ourselves are not alone on that one. I do believe there's at least one of authority that is looking to it. I think it's Sam Newport. Um, I think I'm going to need to pop over to Martin to um, go into the depths of what the impact is of that. So she, so she just shifts to the blame. She, she's like, can someone else take over because I'm too busy knitting? What is happening? <laughs> I mean, technically it's our fault. We elect these people. Really, but um, they have to take some responsibility. The political parties who are creating these weird creatures as our candidates and politicians, now they need to take responsibilities. The people who are getting into politics need to take responsibilities. The voters, all of us, need to take responsibilities. But I think it's just a toxic culture in the political class these days that is causing this nonsensical circus that is run by these clowns it is absolutely embarrassing the state of British politics these days. We fun, may make fun of uh, yeah, Joe Biden for forgetting a couple of words, and that is embarrassing, absolutely. But uh, look at us. Seriously, this is the quality of our politicians. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.